NRG Stadium in Houston, Texas. It's week 11 of the NFL on EA Sports. The Houston Texans taking on the New England Patriots. John, a wonderful fall afternoon in the state of Texas. The roof is open, and we've got football from NRG Stadium in Houston. They do it big here in Houston, and a second ago, it was a Texas-sized welcome for their hometown guys. They're fired up and ready to go as they get set to match up with the New England Patriots. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. So now the Patriots getting set to take over on offense. And trotting out there, their tall quarterbacks, Dana gets 6-5. And you and I both know that any win is a good win. And that's what they did last week. But there's also plenty for him to work on in his game, wasn't there? Yeah. Two touchdowns. of a yard and it brings up four. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it and it won't help them at contract time. 45 yards, that's what the punt goes for. Five on the return. And the Texans will take over with a first and 10. Watson, off play action. Oh, he's gonna air it out right away. Oh, and a bad throw there, it's intercepted. Devin McCourty picks it off. And a great return as he takes us up just shy of the 45. Intercepted by the Patriots. Built so CD, his very first pass of the afternoon intercepted. And I know that's a major surprise for any quarterback because, look, let's face it, no one thinks about throwing interceptions. But think about all the warm-up that we saw, right? Every pass he threw wasn't a single interception because, oh, that's right, there were no defenders <laughs> out there. A little bit different when there's live guys out there chasing the football. Very good starting position for the Patriot offense as they come up first and 10 at their own 43. On play action, they'll throw. Blitz coming and down he goes. Now we talk about players blitzing all the time. Often laugh and sometimes call just straight ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. The throw over the middle, taken in. 
And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Jacoby Myers. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tough for guys trying to get to the football. Hard throw, incomplete. You could tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. Calls for the fair catch, makes the fair catch just inside the 15-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return, and the Texans are going to have the football with a first and 10 deep in their own territory. So now we get set to see Houston for their second drive of the ball game. That opening drive ended with the INT. It didn't lead to points, but still not the way they were hoping to begin the game. How about going and telling your defense, thank you, a huge thank you. You said it didn't lead to points, stalled off that drive. Now they've got a chance to redeem themselves and maybe reward their defense a little bit by putting some points on the board on this one. He'll get three yards on the scramble there. It's second down. It's a pickup of three. A shotgun snap for Watson. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Seven. Out of the gun, Watson. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. That certainly looks like nothing to show now from these first two possessions. And guess what? When you're on a losing streak, that can lead to a full sense of, here we go again. So on the sidelines, the offensive play callers, quarterback, they've got to get together and dial something up to start their next drive. Otherwise, it could be a long game. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. Back deep, Julian Edelman. He punted four times in the loss last week as he gets this one away here. Call that a 45-yard punt, just two yards there on the return. And the Patriots take over. The Patriots ready to get the football back. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? A gain of nine brings up second and one. At the point, no room to maneuver there. Give him a yard up to the 47. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize the strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he will have a Patriots first down as he's able to get about three that time on third and inches. It's a gain of three, and it gets him the first. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. to throw now on first down and this will be incomplete physical play on the football there and it's second down so after the incompletion on first now second and ten that's to his running back Sony Michel the four yards the gain and it'll bring up a third down a gain of four and it's third down Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. He'll rifle this one. He's got it. Hit the 15. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 33 yards that time. Press coverage on the outside. And for defenders, that's the ultimate risk reward. If you take the risk, can you reward yourself by keeping them on the line of scrimmage? But no, not on that one. Got the step on them. Now it's just a matter of laying the ball out there for him to go get it. 
So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. And partner to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. And to give this time to the tailback. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Oh, that's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Ninth play of the drive coming up, and certainly not an easy one on third and long. the gun they'll look to throw blanketed coverage by Houston makes it fourth down so two third down conversions on this drive but not able to get a third and now they deal with fourth down Warwasser's kick is good and the Patriots jump out to a three nothing lead Patriots three Texans nothing So three drives now for this offense, and that field goal gives them their first three points. So if you're an offensive coordinator and you're averaging a point a drive, you're in the wrong line of work, aren't you? <laughs> you got to find a way to yeah. unlock the key to these defenses and put some big points on the board. At their own 25-yard line. And now out comes Houston. It's been an awfully slow start for them. This is their third possession. They don't have a first down yet. So that means they have to change up what they're doing. And for some teams, it's a change in tempo, usually moving it to more up-tempo type of an offense just to try and change their fortunes right now. What they've been doing so far isn't working. Maybe they'll do that. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Gilmore. Now a play fake, and it's Watson. He's letting this one go for Fuller. A fight for the football, and it's intercepted. Picked up by the All-Pro, Stephon Gilmore. Now after the play, it looks like there's a Texan here slow to get up. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their own 42. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. A big play there. Hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Patriots are able to strike quickly for six. If you didn't know it, it won't surprise you to find out that this team leads the league in scoring. They've been a quick strike team all season long. There's another example. They did it again. This offensive coordinator, right now you can write his ticket towards being a head coach. He's advanced in the ways of offense. Now comes the kicking team here for the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10 zip. So they hit pay dirt on just one play. The long run, the scamper, and a very nice scamper into the end zone for the touchdown. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Now the return. Here comes Randall Cobb. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. On the return, the Texans take over first and 10 at their own time. Out comes a Houston offense as they get set to take over here. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. It's a gain of nine. Brings up second and a yard at the 33-yard line. 
Now the first carry for Le'Veon Bell. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First down. I have to admit, I'm excited by that play call and the end result because this is a team that's down big early in the first quarter, and a lot of teams will just panic, abandon the playbook, and just start firing the ball all over the place. It's way too early for that. Stick to what works for you. Down double digits, and we talked about their game plan being both running and passing there. You're right. They're sticking to the game plan. Get the ground game going. A lot of football left to be played. A first down run for Bell, not going to get much. Maybe a couple, and it's second down. The numbers for Bell on the ground of the game last week. 16 carries, 58 yards. I can't remember the last time we did a game and a coach didn't talk about establishing the run first, but they've lost two straight games, so they still want to do that, but they've got to have some contingencies, some other options. Expect to maybe throw it a little bit to open up things and maybe run it a little bit more later in the game. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 43. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. Watson on target here to Fuller. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. A good pickup there. Eight yards on the first down completion. At the 35-yard line. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. They'll go back to the ground with Bell. And he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. At the 34-yard line. A gain of a yard. Brings up third and one. Watson to throw on third and one. Open man is Jacob Hollister. Jacob Hollister. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Now a first down carry by Bell. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. You give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five. From the shotgun, it's a give to Bell. And he's going to take this down close to the first as he's brought down at the Patriots 17. After a gain of five, they'll wind up being about a length of the football short here on third down. They'll try and run for it with Bell. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 16. It'll be a pickup of only a yard. And this long drive is going to continue as they move the chains again. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. They expect this from the visiting team when playing indoors, but not the home team. They're supposed to get all the advantages, right? The home crowd's supposed to help them. They forgot where they were, perhaps. They'll try the air now with Watson. He's got his tight end. It's Fells. Watson's pass. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10-point deficit. At the 12-yard line. Working with second and five now. Out of the shotgun, it's Bell. And he'll be dropped at about the 11 after only a yard. Devin McCourty on the tackle. A gain of a yard. Brings up third. From the gun on third, Watson. And he's got it. That's a no. 
And the Texans are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Well, we're used to seeing the guy that you consider the number one receiver double covered, but how about this guy? He's double covered and finds a way to make the play for a first down. That's how you increase your Madden rating, right? No doubt about that at all. And you know something? I think we'll hear about that from him soon. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll try and run it in with Bell. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. A minimal gain as we tick down inside of a minute remaining in the opening quarter. Good first step there defensively, but they're still knocking on the doorstep, so maybe another run here? I think so. One of my favorite coaches just say, son, if you can darn near lay down near the end zone and get in, <laughs> give me my best power running play with my best back right now. Second down and goal. Watson, and got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Houston. Darren Fells. His second touchdown on the season. And the Texans draw a bit closer. You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury. And it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run. He finds himself open for an easy touchdown. Kaimi Fairbairn on for the extra point. And they're back within a field goal. It's 10-7 now. That drive a long way, spanning 15 plays. And the result, a Houston touchdown. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. And this will make it into the end zone. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. At their own 25 yards. So here are the Patriots to take over. They've won two straight, and they lead this one as well as they come up on first and ten. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. The ball carried by number He was solid last week, over 100 yards in their victory on the ground. They want to get that going again. Absolutely. What they also understand is that from week to week, it's not necessarily the same, but they want it to be, right? What they saw last week on the ground, they want to see in this game as well. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And that one is incomplete. And it also concludes quarter number one. 10-7 our score after one right here on EA Sports. New England on third down. Two for five to this point. This will be third and five. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. He'll find his tight end here, Asi Asi. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Rookie to rookie on the hook up there, and it's a first down. Well, a lot of times when you get a manageable third down situation like this, you have to think about your tight end, and he comes through for him picking up the first down. to throw now on first down. Open man is Asi Asi, the tight end. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he's going to drop this down to Harris, middle of the field. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Four yards, the pickup, first down. But they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. Well, we've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that one looked like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. Go! 
Two minutes gone by, second quarter. They'll look to throw here on first down. Lee's got it over the middle. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Chewing up big yardage, another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination, looked pretty good. How about that? Let's see, if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. That's complete right around the eight. And here he'll get it down to the seven. They'll contain him to just four, second down. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Second and six with the ball on the seven. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. His first touchdown on the year. And the Patriots add six to their lead. I'll let you do the analysis, partner, but with every touchdown pass this young quarterback throws and with the success that his team has had, I just continue to be more and more impressed. Let's both do the analysis. Impressed. Aren't we both? Yeah. I mean, and why shouldn't we be? We've seen him improve Justin throughout the year. Monster. We've seen him settle in now, and you can see the confidence of the team has grown. His confidence has grown. I think that everyone around this guy feels good about what they've seen. And it's also safe for him when he's driving home to turn on Sports Talk Radio. He's okay. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Randall Cobb on the return. The Texans take over first and 10 at their own 20. Houston set to take over. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes, but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, well, I'm I wouldn't missing. change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. Jacob Hollister, the one he was looking for. And that'll bring up second down. Brings up second and 10 at the 24. Throwing again is Watson. Gets this one to Le'Veon Bell. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A gain there of 21 yards. So that's a side that we've been used to seeing throughout his career. A catch and a first down for Le'Veon Bell. For a number of years, he was the gold standard in the NFL for running backs catching passes out of the backfield. He had 66 catches last year, which sounds like a down number because his high water mark was 85 in 2017. When he's full go, he's a handful for any defense. On first and 10, Watson. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Brandon Cooks, the receiver he was going after. And now it's second down. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. To throw again. Watson. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. It's third and seven. Throwing on third down. Watson. He finds his target. Fuller. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. Well, we can talk about it like it's just a basic route, but how about the timing on this one? Lined up on the right, runs a deep in route, and how about the throw? Right on the money. Bam! Puts it right in there and on his hands. Nice completion. Really good pickup. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10. Down at the 33. 
to the air yet again. Watson. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. I think that was good strategy there, trying to go right back to him after the last completion. But this time, the defense was all over it, and they got there to break that one up. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. Throwing again. Watson. And a quick throw here. That's complete. Five yards. Now it's third and five. To Brandon Cooks. It's a gain of five. Brings up third and five. The Texans on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This will be third and five. Watson looks to throw again. And he's going to go down here. A sack. They push him back to the 34. Oh, my goodness. Was that a defensive back that got to him with the pressure? <laughs> Oh, look at the former defensive back. You're, you're all smiles up here. I hope everybody can hear my smile on that play. So on fourth down, Texan kicker Kaimi Fairbairn comes on. From the right hash and call it an even 50 yards. And this one is right down Broadway. Good. And they're back with it a touchdown. It's 17 to 10. Texans 10. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted, but I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yep. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Well, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. The ball on the 30, they'll come up with a second and five. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five. Here's a throw that's taken in out of the backfield. The pass. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. A gain of seven. First down, New England. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And a loose football. And the Texans scoop it. And they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49-yard line. There are two words that we hear coaches say all of the time. One starts with a B, one starts with an S, ball security. And they preach it. They, they have it up in, in, in meeting rooms, right? You see the signs. They talk about it all the time. But still, when you've got defenders out there who are preaching, hey, we're going to take the ball away from you, no matter what position you play, you've got to take care of the rock. Following the fumble recovery, Watson firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Brings up second and one at the 40-yard line. They'll run it with Bell. And he's going to take this down close to the first as he's brought down at the Patriots 36. So from the 36 now, first and 10. 36-yard line. And they'll keep it on the ground with Bell. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. That's good for a Texan first down, a 12-yard pickup. I think Le'Veon Bell's now recognized mainly for his hesitation move. But he makes so many people miss. I think that's what makes him an elite runner in this league. He's been doing that since high school when he was a Groveport Cruiser in Ohio and on to Michigan State and now into the National Football League. first down. It's Bell, and he'll get about five here as he'll take this down inside the 20-yard line. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. A gain of five brings up second and five. Back to throw, Watson. And 
his throw here. The ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. Here's Watson from the gun on third down. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Fuller. And the Texans are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass trait in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. And he goes backwards on this one, losing yardage to the seven. Well, that play's not going to go in their highlight reel at the end of the season, but the only benefit to the offense, maybe a little more space if they want to throw the football now after taking that loss. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. Watson going to pull back the handoff and keep it himself. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. It's going to be a gain of six on the keeper, but it leads to a third down. A six-yard gain brings up third and goal. Here's Bell. And the lane closes quickly for Bell, and he did not make it. What a stand so far defensively. And now that's going to bring up a fourth and goal. Defense didn't budge on third down. Now what are we going to see on fourth? We are soon to find out, but does this feel like old school football or what? Oh, right? yeah. This is an old-fashioned goal line stand. I know what I would call on offense. I would go for it. I want some type of a play where my quarterback has a chance to run it or throw it. I don't just want one static play. Here's Watson. And that is caught. Touchdown, Texans. Kiki QT, his first touchdown on the year. And the Texans are an extra point away from tying this football game. Big fourth down conversion for the score and the defense. That is a tough pill to swallow. Big time for them. How about them just deciding to go for it on fourth down? And, oh, okay, forget the field goal, because that looked like an easy three points. Yeah, you might have had a defensive breakdown in there, but they pressed the issue and found a way to get it into the end zone. Give them big credit for that. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And we've got a tie game here in a back and forth first half. Seventeen, seventeen. the score. All even to this point as it kicks away. Bird now ready to return it. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Patriots take over first and 10 at their own 26-yard line. New England trying to get to place on offense. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions, but some are worse than others. You can have an empty possession, pump the ball away, get yourself set to play defense, but when you turn it over, it changes momentum, and when they take it downfield and punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. It's a gain of four, and it's third down. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. And he goes out right around the 39. Rookie quarterback, rookie running back. They team up there to pick up the first. New England. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Lee. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. Being chased out left. That's going to be caught. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Offense. Hey, 
Now that's one they hate. The ball's got to come all the way back. So that's an explosive play, a really explosive play that gets wiped out, and they have to start over after the penalty. So the illegal forward pass also costs them a down, and now it's second and long. And he's going to go down, back near midfield at the 49. Whitney Merciless, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. And that takes a start to have a good drive, quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been out after that possession. Now they know that they can compete with this offense. At their own 18-yard line. And now out comes Houston. Tie ball game, still a little more than a minute to go in the half. The question, can they put something together here, try to take that lead into intermission? I would have to think that would be the goal for sure. I don't think you sit on anything here. Here's your opportunity. Push it downfield. As you mentioned, it's a tie game. So minus a disaster on your part, you've got that in your back pocket. Go ahead and try and get some points and feel great going into the half. Open man, the tight end fouls. A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard, and it's second down. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that, but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. Now a first down throw, Watson. This is Cobb with a catch right side. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Throwing again on second down. Watson, and he'll get this underneath to Bell. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. A final shot before the break. Watson, he's letting it fly for Cooks. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. Well, they'll get the yardage, but they hate to see him take that hit. You're always trying to cool off a big-time guy throwing the ball. But you have to know when to back off, pull up, and not hit him. There's the penalty. And this one is right down the middle. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. All right, Brandon, thank you very much. The NFL season going to be about two-thirds complete after this weekend. So lots to get to as we check out what's going on here in week 11. We'll begin up at Bank of America Stadium in Uptown Charlotte. And it's the Panthers who are out in front. Teddy Bridgewater with three touchdown passes. From there, we fly north to Cleveland to check on the Browns at home at First Energy Stadium. And they have the lead in that one over the visiting Philadelphia Eagles. The Browns seem to be on their way to what would be a good victory. Finally, let's get to Indianapolis to check on the Colts at home at Luke, that one over the visiting Packers. Phillip Rivers slinging it. Three touchdown passes there. Meanwhile, in our game, no shortage of offense as each team has been able to move the ball effectively. Will the defenses show up in the second half? To find out, we give it back to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. And the half will begin with a touchback. So here are the Texans to take over. They lost two straight coming in, but good news for them right now. They've got the lead and the football. Watson will bring up the Texans here, first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Out of the gun, Watson. He's got his tight end. It's fouls. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. 
They'll contain him to just four. Second down. And six at the 29. Quick hitter here. It's complete. He'll be hit down at the 33. Five yards on the play. It's a gain of five. Brings up third and two. Third and two. Watson under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Deshaun Watson sacked by Chase Winovich. That's to be exactly what they were looking for coming out to start the third quarter. Get a sack, get off the field, get the momentum going in their direction. Get the ball back to your offense, right? Get that momentum because, hey, this lead is very, very slim. Here's Brian Anger now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. It's a 42-yard punt. They keep him to just a yard on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Here comes the Patriots offensive unit. They'll have it first here to begin the third quarter. We have not seen much on offense from either side these last few drives. It has been a struggle, hasn't it? Totally, and you're thinking to yourself right now, if you're on offense trying to get things figured out, okay, we self-scout every week in our game plan. How many things do we do at certain times? What are our tendencies? Time to go to some of those tendency breakers and try and create some offense. They always have those in their back pocket, don't they? You have to. And if you don't keep abreast of what you're doing, you lock into a rhythm and make it easy for the opposition. Looking for tendency breakers right now. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. It's third down. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. The pass intended for Marquis Lee. In without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. The Patriots send out their punter as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. On the return comes Cobb. Just a net of 34 there, following a punt of 44 yards. And possession will switch hands first and 10. Now comes a Houston offense as they get set to take over here. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going, so what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. Deshaun Watson sacked by Chase Winovich. Tackle like how they've started the third quarter here. They force a punt on the first drive, and after this sack, it looks like they'll be forcing another one as well. Absolutely. Maybe got their second win coming out of the locker room. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. This is Bell. And he'll be tackled just past the 35 at the 36. That'll get them some of what they needed, but they're still left here with a third and nine forthcoming. Brings up to throw is Watson. Caught left side by Cobb. And he can only manage to take the football to the 40, and that is well shy of the first down marker. Brian Anger now as he's on to punt for Houston. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. 
So a change of possession here on the punt. And the pass will be backed up deep to get the drive started as they take over first and 10. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. To the sideline, and it's caught, but boy, he's out of bounds. Well, they try to get him into space coming out of the backfield, but it'll be third down. Open man is Asi Asi, the tight end. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It'll be a Patriot first down on a pickup of 16. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it. Sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. We've become so accustomed to it, you, you sort of take it for granted. You really do, but he is so good that every team in his division Every year is trying to make sure they draft people charged with trying to block J.J. Watt. So far, hasn't been too successful. 30-yard line, second and 12. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Dancing to his left. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Over the middle, Julian Edelman, it's complete. And he's going to be taken down here, still a couple yards short of the first. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. If this were baseball, we'd call this small ball. Instead of pushing it downfield, they throw a short pass trying to pick up the first down, but the defense rallies to the football and stops him short, bringing up a fourth down. The Patriots send out their punter as he's on for the fifth time here today. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. Houston set to take over. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. On the crossing route, complete. That's Cobb. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Brings up second and five at the 40-yard line. A shotgun snap for Watson. He gets it over the middle to Cobb. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. 
Keeps the sticks moving. Watson on first down. Throw left side complete. That's Bell. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four at the Patriots' 46-yard line. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. And on the keeper. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. So third and two, this quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. Typically on the read option play, when we talk about responsibilities, we're talking about what the quarterback has to go through. How about the inside linebacker, though? His job on this play, shadow the quarterback and hold him to a short gain, did it to perfection. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. Here's Brian Anger now, as he's on to punt for Houston. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. New England trying to get a place on offense. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting because three straight drives have ended with them punting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex. And the ball is knocked out, and the Texans scoop it. And his guys are going to take over at the 21-yard line. He has been a workhorse for them in this game, and ball security hasn't been an issue until that point. Yeah, and let's face it, when he's going to carry the ball that many times, he becomes more and more of a target for the defense, knowing that he's going to be the primary guy. They'll just send more and more players towards him, trying to make sure they knock the ball free. Now Deshaun Watson and his offense heading back out there. And right now, probably just one thing in his mind, it's getting back to the hot start because he's really faded. And ordinarily when that happens, he, the quarterback, as you know, is usually the leader of the squad. Now there's probably a, a silent camaraderie that comes around him saying, hey, guess what? We got you. Don't worry about it. Let's go, big fella. Because they know more times than not, he tends to pick things up and they tend to play well. Looks to me, partner, like he's learned a little bit because earlier in the game, I think he was trying to force a lot of throws into some windows that just weren't open. Yeah, the interceptions had plagued him, especially a second interception, really a bad throw. So maybe a better decision there. He had no doubt about it. I think he learned from earlier in the game, and he's applying it now. Now Bell. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Operating from the gun, wants to. Brandon Cooks, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Texans use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. On for the PAT, Kaimi Fairbair. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it results in the Texans finding the end zone. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Bird now ready to return it. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. On the return, the Patriots take over first and 10. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. He's had a good performance, moved the ball effectively on the ground. Of course, he has the one touchdown. And when you're able to move it as effectively as you've described, 
that leads to finding a way into the end zone, and now he's just trying to do it for a second time. And of course, with that, comes additional yardage. Yeah, looking for additional yardage, and again, that second score here in the third.